Dean Del Mastro is hardly a poster boy for electoral fair play. Four years ago, the former conservative MP went to jail for violating Canada's election spending laws. That was not a good day. The fact one of Canada's most powerful companies got away with far more serious violations, he says, is an outrage. We have a disproportionate system of justice and some people it seems that it shields and protects and other people it comes down on with full force. I felt the full force and might of the federal government. Del Master was now calling on Parliament to question the elections commissioner about why SNC-Lavalin was allowed to avoid prosecution by signing a compliance agreement. He's not the only one asking. Why was this deal struck? Was there any political influence brought to them to bear? Because it seems a very, very unusual use of a non-compliance order uh, for something of this magnitude. The last time the terms SNC-Lavalin, Compliance Agreement and PMO came together, we had four months of a drip, drip, drip of information coming out. Can they just put us all out of our misery and let us know whether or not the Prime Minister's office interfered in this matter with SNC-Lavalin? The only thing the Prime Minister has said so far is that what happened with the SNC donations is in the past may have uh, moved forward on transparency and openness uh, and that is not uh, what happens anymore. But how does he know? Back in 2016, the Liberals told Elections Canada they had no prior knowledge of ineligible contributions made by the 18 SNC employees and their spouses. Did they do an investigation, ask the 18 who their party contacts were? Today, the Liberals told us they did review records and speak to party officials, but they did not contact any of the 18 who made the donations. As for the election commissioner, after refusing all our requests for an interview, he finally issued a statement today, saying that in his 12 years on the job, there has never been a political attempt to influence or intervene in any of his decisions. Interestingly, what he did not say is there's never been an attempt to communicate. Julian Finley, CBC News, Toronto.